So, uh, Mr. Crest said we should talk about uh, work, but uh, not here. So is there a room in the back or something? Cool, I'll get set up. So, Mr. Crest said you might be able to help me out with something. Well, not me, so that's clear. It's not me you're gonna be helping. And I want to understood that I am not involved. Just a bystander doing a favor. And this is not an offer of employment so much as an opportunity. And well, anyway, that's just getting a bit technical. But the point is, sometimes our fair and legal justice system makes mistakes. And this is one such time. Here he is, Professor Maxim Rashkovsky. You know the professor? He used to be head of research for the army. Three doctorates. Overconfident polymath, vain sociopath, tedious egomaniac, control freak, geneticist, weapons development, engineer, car nut, but definitely not a people person. Accused of espionage along with everything else? You don't remember? Well, lucky you. Exceedingly vain and self-absorbed man, brilliant at everything he does, yada yada yada, makes you want to puke. He's a goddamn traitor. I mean, he's a rat, but he pays. Incarcerated for a crime he did commit, but well, let's just say money talks and he's going to walk. So, we got a few things to get ready, all pretty straightforward. Do them one at a time, but any way you like. Standard op for a gov fact breakout, if you know what I mean. Rad. All right, first thing's a plane, then we got a bus, and th then, well, two things. We got the inmate transfer schedule and Rashkovsky's car. More on that later, let me show you. We need a plane to get the professor out of the country. It's currently being used to traffic drugs by transnational street gang, the Vagos. The bus, we need a standard Bolingbrook transport vehicle. The least traffic is on the route from Polito Bay. All right, that's where you're gonna be able to get a hold of one. You can get a hard copy of the inmate transit schedule at the LSPD's Mission Row station. Go in unarmed, play it cool, you might not have a problem, that's a two-person job, max. The other two-hander is our guy's prize casco. We believe it's about to be shipped to Korea by a luxury car theft ring. Okay, Mr. Crest said you guys are at least semi-competent, so, well, Professor Reshkovsky pays well.
with a good supply of ammunition, armor, and maybe even explosives. It's gonna get kinda heavy. Like I said before, the airfield is under Vago's control. They're using the plane to make trafficking runs across the border. That means it's already set up to take Reshkovsky out of the country. Limited radar visibility, plausible cover story. It's perfect. Don't let the fact that there are a bunch of angry drug dealers waiting for you affect how you go in. Or, actually do.
you're done. The rest of the team's going to clean up the Vagos. Pilot, come in. Is there any cargo on the plane? Drugs? Guns? Wild animals? I guess if you're flying, you haven't been charged by a coked-up crash of rhinos. You know, last week, three customs officers died from spider bites after opening a Marabunta Grande shipment of untaxed Coca-Cola wood. What lesson can you take from this? It ain't the size of the dog in the fight, it's the amount and toxicity of the venom in the dog's sack. <laughs> yeah, unless the dog is really effing big, then you're screwed anyway. So, uh, look out for creepy crawlies, and any drugs on that plane belong to me. Man, I love selling drugs. I am a criminal, after all. My team's waiting at LSIA. Can we hurry this up, please? We need to clean this up quick, so leave the area as soon as you've handed over the plane. Take care of this.